boxing is full of shit, man. I used to love Another caution for holding behind the neck against Kevin Barry. Boy, how many is that? I'll tell you, he has been cautioned a lot for that. Another, Another point. Yeah. So the second official warning given Kevin Barry by our referee Novacic of Yugoslavia and Holyfield gets right back down to it. It has been a grappling match and another caution and down goes Barry. With seconds remaining in round two now. The count is given to Barry and now the clock resumes. It had stopped for a moment as Novacic gestures Barry towards his corner. He's explaining something to Holyfield. Now, he had stepped in at the moment that, that Holyfield was taking him on Barry and planting him on the canvas with 15 seconds or less here in the second round. Pat Nappy and Sense. And it looks like they have disqualified Evander Holyfield. Now we will see Holyfield on the inside working. The referee, Novacic, getting into the picture. As the, you can see clearly Barry's holding. He will say break at that point. And what a left hook landed. Now, of course, you can't tell exactly when he said break at that point, but uh, Holyfield had that left hand cocked and uh, he threw it. The clock froze at 13 seconds. Let's get the official word. The winner by disqualification. Kevin Barry in the blue corner. Kevin Barry will go on and fight for the gold medal against Anton Yozipovic of Yugoslavia. And I guess, Al, there are those that will read politics and subterfuge into this entire incident. It, it's going to be tough to really put a finger on it because it was a, a split-second decision by Novacic to break them. And Holyfield, you have to fight and defend yourself at every point. Lashed out with that left hook. Well, as you said, it had been the kind of fight that had been replete with warnings, points taken away. This crowd, obviously, in L.A., doesn't like it. And uh, because of the, the fact that it was that kind of a fight, I guess it casts even more doubt on the, the overall decision. But it was a judgment call. You said the deck was stacked against you. It came as no great surprise that you were on the short end of the decision. Give us your thoughts. Hey, man. First of all, you got, how'd you guys score? You got Ringside, Harold Letterman had it seven rounds to five. I thought that was about right, but I thought it was competitive. Seven, five me, right? Yes, Harold did have that. Thank you, man. At least some people got the score right. Listen, I don't know why Houston is booing me. You guys are a great fight town, man. I didn't have nothing wrong, nothing against Houston, man. It's a great fight town. You guys were a loud crowd. It ain't nothing against you guys, man, but I had to deal with a lot of politics, man. That was ridiculous. I knew I was going to have to deal with this. You know, you got guys like Raul Caiz. That's Golden Boy's go for. I said it before, and, and he was. And he actually had the closest scorecard, man. I'm telling you, this state never gives a fair shake to anybody coming to this state to fight hometown fighters. It never happens. All the way back to okay. the It never happens. Put, putting the decision aside, again, that comes as no great shock. That Amal and I, what do you right. think about the fight itself? Uh, I thought I, I thought I edged it out. I thought I outboxed him. But man, Juan is a great warrior. I expected that from Juan, though. He's, I knew he was going to come to fight. I knew he was going to come to throw down. I knew he was going to throw punches. The ring was small, so I couldn't always move because he was going to get to me, you know? So I had to make, make I had to break it up between smothering him and moving. But Juan showed his heart, man. He came to try to win every round. I think at the end, we were both trying our hardest with our own styles. I was backing up boxing. He was trying to bring it. We were both going for our strengths to pull out the last rounds that I think we both needed. We knew them. We both knew we needed them. And I thought I pulled them out. I thought I outboxed the aggressor in the last rounds. Paulie, assuming you don't get a rematch for a second, you know I ain't getting a rematch, man. This is boxing. Boxing is full of shit, man. I used to love Assuming. this sport. I used to love this sport, man. I cannot stand doing this. The only reason I do this is because it gives me a good payday. Boxing is full of shit. Paulie, assuming fight. you don't get the rematch, you here have reestablished yourself on a world-class level. What would you want next? Listen, anything that comes my way. I mean, I'm just an opponent after losing the fight. One can go call out the winner of Marquez and Mayweather or the winner of another big fight. I don't have that luxury because I got robbed, so I'm on the short end of the stick. So I got to sit back and hope I get used as an opponent in somebody's hometown again. This is the bullshit I got to go through. I'm fighting for Pauly, the money. Pauly, Pauly. They're going to water. They're going to water. McCall's not even going to his corner. Um, number one, that's not a, uh, the right move. His corner is in disbelief. Look at George. That's right. That's right. I don't blame George. George will walk out of the corner. Watch what I tell you. He'll walk out of the corner. I know George. He was my friend for 18 years. And he'll walk out of the corner because this guy is, is not... Uh, 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 and you know he's going to have to do a good job when he sees that one. Look at George there. And that's what's standing there at ease. Was it meditating there for 
Bush. in Venezuela say boxer Edwin Valero has killed himself in his jail cell just hours after he was arrested in the killing of his wife. The former lightweight champion used his own clothes to hang himself from a bar in his cell. Valero showed signs of life when he was taken down but died a short time later. Valero was under arrest for stabbing his 24-year-old wife in a hotel room over the weekend. He allegedly left his room and told security that he had killed his wife. The 28-year-old fighter shot to fame when he won his first 18 fights by a first-round knockout. Valero became a household name in Venezuela with a huge image of President Hugo Chavez tattooed on his chest, along with the country's yellow, blue, and red flag. His death ends a string of legal troubles for the boxer. Last month, he reportedly entered a rehab facility for drug and alcohol addiction. He was also arrested for harassing his wife and threatening medical personnel who treated her at a hospital for serious bodily injury.